Aloha! This is Pipeline Audio with a tutorial on getting started in Reaper. Reefer to the rescue. I'm going to show you one of the cool tricks you can do with Reefer. Let's say you just have a stereo drum set and it's all you got for your recording. Maybe you only had uh, two inputs on your sound card or you only had two spare channels, whatever. So you got a stereo drum track. But you want to make the kick louder and you want to make the snare louder. So what I'm going to do is duplicate the drum track, open up Reefer, I'm going to set it to gate mode, and I'm going to set the threshold line and frequency so that only the kick will show through the gate. So I'm just going to dial it in, dial it in, dial it in, try and get rid of the snare so I'm just getting kick. I don't care what it sounds like, I just want to make sure that the only output Reefer puts out is when a kick plays. Whatever sound comes out, whatever. We're just using it to trigger. Now I'm going to load up another great plugin from Storm Recording Studio, and that's Drum Trig. It's a uh, drum replacement software. You feed it a certain level, and it fires off a sample, kind of like a noise gate. You might have seen Sound Replacer or Drumagog. This is the same type of deal. So here I'm feeding Drum Trig from Reefer, and whenever that kick pulse comes, I'm going to have it fire kick. So here comes a kick sample, and there we go. And let's see how that works with the stereo track. Okay, so far so good. You hear the trigger delay, and Reaper has a way to deal with that. Just uh, select the trigger track, click Edit, Apply Effects, and it'll render a new track. And once it's done rendering, just move it back in time, and the kick should line up with the old kick. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing with the snare. Kind of tricky to dial in the right tuning, but once you get it, good. Okay, now I'm going to load up a snare sample, and kaboom! And we play it back in time with the track. Sounds like it's playing relatively at the right time. Okay, now I'm doing edit, apply effects as new take, and we'll move it back in time to line up. And there we go. Now you can control your kick and snare volume independent of the stereo drum track. Happy rescuing and register your copy of Reaper.